it is good to see you today. Together we are on a journey through all the colors of the rainbow. First we did purple, then blue. Last week was green. Do you know what color is next in the rainbow? That's right, yellow. Yellow is such a bright, happy color. Some of my favorite things are yellow. The sunshine, flowers, bumblebees, even lemonade. You'll have to look around your space and see what catches your eye that's yellow. To begin our time together, we always light a candle to remember Jesus and that he always walks with us. Do you have a candle? If so, just remember that you might need an adult to help you. Let's light our candle now. And now let's pray. Dear God, you remind us of a gardener. You watch us grow and care for us. Like a gardener cares for the seeds and plants in their garden. You give us love. You cultivate true friendship with you. And all of this blooms in our hearts. Open our eyes and ears and hearts to be aware of you. May the seeds you sow in our hearts and lives grow into an abundant harvest of good things that we can grow love for others and for your world. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our teacher and friend. Amen. Hello and welcome back to Sunday School. Today's color, as you might have heard already, is orange. What kind of things do you think of when you think of the color orange? I always think of pumpkins. That's one of the things I think about. And Halloween is very exciting for me because I get to see all sorts of orange pumpkins. One of the other things I think about, and this kind of has to do with our story today as well, is a flower. And it's a special kind of flower. I'll show you a picture. It's a tiger lily. Have you ever seen a tiger lily? Well, here's the picture of the tiger lily. It's a pretty cool flower. And flowers have a little bit to do with our story today. Our story today is the sower. Do you know what a sower is? Yeah, sometimes it's a person that works with needle and thread, but that's a different kind of sower. This kind of sower is a person who plants things in the ground. It's usually a farmer, and the farmer goes and spreads the seed. And the person who does that, the person who spreads the seed, is called a sower. And so our story today is about the sower. And it's uh, from the Bible, but it's adapted and written by Victoria Kovacs and illustrated by Antonio Rena. Let's read our story, shall we? The farmer goes out to plant some seeds. Some seeds fall along the hard path. Birds swoop down and gobble them up. Some seeds fall on rocky ground. The seeds start to grow, but when it gets hot, the sun dries them up. Other seeds fall into the thorns, and the thorns choke the plants so the plants can't grow. But some seeds fall on the good soil. These plants grow and make much fruit. The seeds are like God's word. Some people's hearts are like the hard path and they won't listen to God. Some people quickly receive God's word, but when life gets hard and rocky like the road, they forget God's word. And there's somebody who's walking on that hard path. Other people let the worries of life act like the thorns that keep God's word from growing in their hearts. Thorns can, thorns can be prickly, can't they? They sure can. People who hear God's message and do his will are like the good ground where the seeds can grow. That's hopefully like it is for us. Today, think about what you can do to make your heart like the good ground where God's word can grow. 
How do you think you can do that today and the rest of this week? I hope you enjoyed our story and I hope you enjoy our craft uh, with our color orange and have a great Sunday School lesson and we will see you next week. Bye. Hi friends. This morning we look at the parable of the sower. We've heard the story and we've lit a candle and I would like to give you a couple of opportunities for activities this week. Did you know that the city of Calgary gives away free wildflower seeds? All you have to do is go to this link and order your very own wildflower seeds. Once you get them, I would like you to remember this story and go for a walk, maybe around your yard or in your garden or out in the world and distribute those seeds and say a prayer for their growth and see what grows. Let us know. Will you take some pictures and share them with us? I hope so. I hope you order them. They're a lot of fun. I also wanted to give you the opportunity to make a really cute and fun little craft. Flowers. Aren't they cute? All you need to make them is three pipe cleaners. It doesn't matter what color. I picked a green one because I thought a green would be a good stem color. And then I picked a couple of different colors. Maybe it'll be a little bit like a daisy if I use red. Hmm. What you want to do is you want to take your stem color, green, blue, red, yellow, orange, and fold it in half so that the top two points go up. And then you're going to take this one side and you're going to twist it around about at the middle. You can make a little leaf just by folding it. And then you want to twist this end around so you don't get poked by the sharp pointy edge. There. Flower stem. I'm going to pick white for my petals. So pick your petal color next. Let's put the stem off to the side. Pick your petal color next and you're just going to wrap one little petal around your finger and twist it over. Now we're going to make an, a second petal, same way. Doesn't have to be the same size. I'm not sure if you've ever noticed but the flower petals are all a little bit different. Two flower petals. Make another one. Keep twisting it around. I wonder if I can get five. Nope, looks like with this one I'm going to get four, and that's good. Depending on how big your twists are, your little loops are, is how many petals you're going to get. I'm going to make this a double, double petaled flower. These ones I'm going to make a little bit smaller so they can sit on the inside. Same process. One twist, two, three. Since these are smaller, it looks like I'll have more. Four, five. You want to make sure one of them has a little bit of a tail so you can attach them together like that. So I have this little tail at the end of mine. I'm going to use it to attach to my stem. So I'm going to twist those two together, top of my stem, and the red part. And then I will also twist this green part over the white part to create the center of my flower. There. You can bend your petals around, push the red petals through the center of the white petals, whatever you want to do. And then you can take this flower, look at how cute, and you can plant it in a little piece of styrofoam or a little paper clay pot. This might make a wonderful Parents' Day gift. You can make a whole bouquet. I hope you'll make some flowers, maybe even some orange ones if you can. You could also make these out of paper if you wanted. Cut a couple of petals and on your petals you could write some do-good statements, some things that you would like to grow in your do-good garden. I hope you have a fantastic week. See you next week, friends.